Welcome to this learning module which will introduce you to plasmid DNA and its applications. Plasmid DNA can be applied for a wide variety of purposes. These include genomic library construction, heterologous gene expression, the development of third generation vaccines and gene delivery in animals and plants. These are some of the applications which will be discussed in this presentation. Genomic library construction, the concept of double digestion of plasmid and genomic DNA, and plasmid copy number, which is determined by the size of the insert. Blunt cloning vectors are routinely used to ligate DNA and construct genomic libraries. These genomic libraries are in turn sequenced to determine the sequence of organisms. TA cloning vectors can be utilized to ligate PCR products which have been developed using non-proof reading polymerases. These plasmid vectors are essential for sequencing small genomic DNA molecules. Overhang vectors are developed by double digestion of plasmid DNA with two restriction enzymes. The DNA of interest can then be ligated onto this restriction site. These vectors are essential for the development of cloning and expression systems. In addition to applications to DNA sequencing, plasmids can also be used as vectors for gene expression. The most widely used vectors is the PET series of vectors which are utilized for the expression of recombinant proteins in Escherichia coli. Another application of plasmids is to third generation vaccines. Third generation vaccines are based on plasmid DNA vectors which have been genetically engineered to carry viral coat proteins under the influence of a host specific promoter. The advantage of these vaccines is that the genetic material which is the plasmid does not integrate into the host genome. In the case of plasmid vectors, a range of promoters can be utilized to drive the expression of the DNA of interest. In the case of the P-DREAM vector, which is displayed in this slide, a CMV or cytomegalovirus promoter can be utilized for expression of the gene of interest in eukaryotic systems, a T7 promoter for expression in a bacterial host, and a P10 promoter for expression in insect cell lines. This utilization of three sets of promoters facilitates expression of the gene of interest in a range of host systems. Another application is that of gene transfer. Gene transfer of plants is done by using plasmids based on the TI plasmid derived from the soil bacterium, agrobacterium, tumefaciens. Picambia is one of the most widely used plant transformation vectors. In the case of animal cell lines, plasmids need to be linearized prior to transfection and transformation so that they can integrate into the host genome. This is the general structure of PCambia vector, which is a shuttle vector that can replicate both in agrobacterium tumefaciens as well in, as in Escherichia coli. This concludes your module on the applications of plasmid DNA. Please complete your evaluation at the end of this section. Thank you.